Hey guys, welcome. Today's practice is going to focus on the lymphatic system of the upper body, primarily this area of the chest and the armpit. As a teacher of mine once would call it the charm pit, this lovely whole area here, and the lymph nodes is within that area. So a great practice if you've had lymph nodes removed, um, if you have breast cancer surgery and lymph nodes removed, we know that sometimes then it takes just a little bit more work to keep the lymphatic system flowing as it should, and we might be at risk for lymphedema. So practices that can help move the lymph through, always great. Unlike our circulatory system and the heart, which pumps on its own, the lymphatic system requires movement, right? manual movement, exercise, any type of movement to get the system flowing. So if we're feeling a little more stagnant, then lymphatic system is going to be stagnant as well. So great if you've had lymph nodes removed, but I think also just great in general because the lymph system is like the trash collection system of our body. And so it's helping us to keep the body clear of right, maybe viruses that we've come across, our immune system functions through the lymphatic system. So a great practice in general just to keep us healthy. So use it as you need to. You're not going to need a whole lot for props today, just maybe something to sit up on. That'll be nice if you have a block or a couple of pillows, something to give your hips a little bit of height. And once you have that, just find your way to a comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Sit tall. Right, so as you let your sitting bones anchor back, lift up through the crown of your head, and then just gently draw your shoulder blades back. And so if we can think in general about keeping that area open, give it more space, things move a little bit more freely than when we are compressed and the shoulders are hunched forward and there's not as much space for things to move. And then just start to take some nice full, slow breaths. Don't rush it, don't force it. Just find the place, place where your breath starts to come all the way down into your belly. And that you can start to make your inhale and exhale just a little longer. And just this really simple connection to our breath can be a great way to make the transition from whatever you've been doing into this time for yourself, for your practice. Whether that's 10 minutes or an hour, that we take a moment to carve that out and create a space for you. A space that's going to help with your healing, with your progression, and with nourishing yourself, taking care of you. And take just a few more breaths like that. And you can keep your eyes closed or even soft if it feels good. With your inhale, you can slow reach both arms up overhead. Turn your palms to face in towards one another. And as you exhale, turn your palms out. And really slow, like you're moving through water. You know, it's almost like swimming. <laughs> and you can press your hands all the way back down towards your sides. And inhale, reach both arms up. And just let it move to that same coordination of nice, slow, full breaths. Exhale, turn hands out. Press your palms down. Great. Inhale again. Reach up. And as you reach up, get a little taller. Lengthen up through the top of your head. And then turn your palms out as you exhale. Press down and anchor down through your seat. Let's take one more like that. Just starting to get a little movement through the shoulder joint, through the armpit, through the nodes there. Turn palms out. Press your hands all the way down. Right. It doesn't have to be a huge dynamic movement, it doesn't have to be intense, it's just movement. <laughs> okay, and then reach your arms out in front, flex your wrists so your palms are facing forward. And this movement's really going to come just through the shoulder blades, that's what you're going to feel moving, but it's going to create that action of movement of pumping all around the front of the chest and the shoulders. So as you inhale, press your palms forward, let your shoulder blades slide forward away from one another, and then as you exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Inhale, press your hands forward, round in between shoulder blades. It's not a full rounding of your spine, just shoulder blades press forward. And then squeeze shoulder blades back. It's almost like little shoulder push-ups. Inhale, press them forward. 
And then exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. And you just start to feel that movement of your shoulder blades glide forward and back along that back side of the rib cage. Squeeze them back. A couple more times. And we'll take this movement too into kneeling. So nice to get the feeling of it, the sensation of it. Here, just sitting. Good. And then next time you come forward, inhale, big breath in. As you exhale, reach your arms out wide. And then sit tall, open up through your chest, take another breath in. As you exhale, this time wrap, hug yourself across, give a good squeeze right into the armpits. Inhale, reach out wide. And then exhale, switch the arm that's on top, hug, squeeze. You can even curl in chin towards chest if it feels good. Inhale, open up wide. Exhale, squeeze and hug. It also does start to work a little bit in muscles of the shoulders. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze, hug in. Let's take one more, open up wide. And then give yourself a big squeeze, big hug. Right? If you give that good squeeze, like a good pump through the front of the armpit, chest, shoulders, the charm pit, <laughs> come out wide, inhale. And then come forward, hands to your mat. We're going to come to tabletop to hands and knees. You can set your pillows block off to the side. And then as always, just take a moment to set up your foundation so that your shoulders stack over your wrists, your hips over your knees, spread out wide through your fingers, and then take a couple nice little rounds of cat cow. So inhale, drop your belly, look forward. And then exhale, press your hands down, round chin to chest, lift your belly button up and in. And then come forward, inhale. And then really press down from shoulders to hands, draw your chin in, round through your back. And just move to wherever your breath rhythm is at. And see if you can really focus on moving from the shoulder blades, kind of like we just did with those shoulder push-ups. You're obviously getting some movement through hips and pelvis as well, but just let our intention, our focus be for the upper body today. Take one more round. And then the next time you come to your cat pose with your back rounded, stay there. Root down into your right hand. Inhale, sweep your left arm up. And then exhale, thread it to, through. We're going to take it a little bit to movement first. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Reach your arm up. And then exhale, curl around it underneath behind your right arm. And one more time. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, thread it through. This time, hold. You can keep your right arm right there for support. You can walk it forward or you can reach it around. If you want a little bit more support under your head, sometimes that's nice here, a block, the pillow, whatever you have that you're just sitting on, you can use that for support here. And then just bring a little more engagement to your left hand, so press down through the back of the hand and the arm. And then from there, feel like you could draw back from your middle finger all the way back to your shoulder blade. It feels like it plugs a little bit more into the back body. You get a little more compression there. And then you can roll your right shoulder open. And keep your outer right hip sliding back. Sometimes that short bo side body wants to get short. Short side body. <laughs> Good. Next, inhale, unwind. Come on back to tabletop. Take a round of cat-cow here. And do the same next time you come to your cat pose, rounded back, stay there. And we'll do it a couple of times with breath first. So inhale, reach your right arm up. And then exhale, thread it through underneath behind your left arm. And inhale, press into your left hand, come all the way up, reach your right arm up. And then exhale, thread it underneath, slide it back. Good. All the way back up. Think of really stretching open that space all along the front of the chest and armpit. And then exhale, curl around it in underneath. This time, stay. All right. Left hand there for support. Forward or around. You can choose a different option on this side than you did on the first. 
Sometimes I think we always have to be doing the same side to side, but our bodies are not the same side to side. So we choose different variations right, based on what's most appropriate, side to side, what feels most supportive, or maybe gives us the range of motion that we need or that we don't need on that side. And do that same little press down on the back side of your right hand, right arm. And then hug back from your hand to your shoulder blade and roll your left chest open. Your next inhale, unwind. Bring both hands down to your mat. Take one more round of cat-cow in between. And then come back to center. If you've lost that set up foundation of your hands, again, just shoulders over wrists and really spread wide through your fingers so you've got lots of support. And then grip down with your fingertips. And we're gonna take those same shoulder push-ups that we just did sitting, and we're gonna do it here from tabletop. So just take a breath in, and then exhale, soften your chest, your heart in between your arms, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you inhale, press away, let your shoulder blades move away from your spine. And then exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together. Right. So unlike cat-cow, where there's a lot of movement through the hips and the pelvis, those stay really neutral here. And we're just getting that squeeze back and forth of the shoulder blades. And just let it move with your breath rhythm. And exhale to squeeze shoulder blades in towards your spine. And then inhale to press them away. Whenever we do these repetitive actions, I like to think about it like a pump for the lymphatic system. We've got these little vessels all throughout the body. They're often pictured as white, the lymphatic system. They're more surface than your blood vessels. And they all dump into those lymph nodes at central points within the body. And then we can get things moving, clearing out with that pumping action. Good. And then finish up that round, come back to center, take a full breath in, full breath out. And then with your next inhale from here, to step your right leg forward to a low lunge. Bring your hands up to your right thigh. And you can always pad underneath your left knee if it's feeling a little sensitive. If you're on harder floors, you can fold your mat over and give it a little bit more padding that way too. Okay, from here, squeeze your legs in towards one another. Now bring your outer right hip back a little bit. And then... Just let your hips start to come forward to whatever place feels like it gives you maybe a nice little bit of stretch. And, and then bring your arms out wide to a cactus shape. And take a moment to line up so that your elbows and your shoulders are in one long line. It doesn't feel like they're all the way down or all the way up. Turn your palms forward and spread out wide through your fingers. And then we take a little bit of movement here with breath. Right, so take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, squeeze your palms and your forearms towards one another. And then when you get there, really give them a press. Inhale, open out wide. Exhale, squeeze forearms and palms together. Pump, press. <laughs> Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze them together. Do two more like that. Follow your breath, your rhythm. Open up. Clearing, pumping, moving things through. Right, give that extra little squeeze as they come together. Inhale, open. And then exhale, squeeze them in. Good, come out wide. Inhale, this time reach both arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your mat. Lift your back knee, step all the way forward. Bring your hands to your hips. And really press down from your hips to your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Stand tall. And then this time just feel shoulder blades moving back. So again, you create that space in the front of the chest. And just by doing that, let things move a little bit better. Whereas if we're feeling hunched in, things get a little more compressed. From here, both arms up, inhale. And then take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. And if that's feeling like mm, not that quite 
quite that range of motion today. Just keep your hands shoulder width apart. Stay anchored through your feet and then side bend over to your right. Press down especially through your left foot and then squeeze your upper arms towards your ears, especially on the right side, it might tend to want to be dropping down, hug in. If it feels like your right shoulder is dipping back, just nudge it forward a little till it feels in line with your left shoulder. And take a couple full breaths all into that space of your left side body. And so just keeping the, with the tissue, especially like that fascia, the connective tissue, when we can keep that open, spacious, again, things move a little bit freer. Come back to center, inhale. And then either switch out the clasp, again, or keep hands parallel to one another, side bend to your left. And hug your arms up, press down through your right foot, and just let your right hip come out to the side. Take a couple of big breaths into that right side body, along the tricep, armpit, underneath the shoulder. And you may especially notice if you've had surgery one side, or maybe both, that but sometimes within the fascia where there's scar tissue, there might be a little limited range of motion. Find the place that feels appropriate. And like there's a little sensation, but no pain. And start to create a gentle stretch and start to create more room in that tissue. Come back up to center, inhale, and fold forward, exhale. This time, step your right foot back. Bring your right knee down to your mat. And then start with your hands on your left thigh. You can always take left foot a little bit wider too. That's gonna give you more support, better foundation. Okay, give a little squeeze of your inner legs just for stability. Draw your outer left hip back and then find a little lift through your low belly. Just good support through the foundation. And then you can stay just like this if that's enough. If it feels like there's a little room, just let your hips start to slide forward. And just because we're focusing on the upper body, just get a little stretch through the hips. <laughs> You know, bring your arms out wide, inhale. Right, cactus arms, again, just line up shoulders and elbows, spread wide through your hands. Take another breath in. As you exhale, press your arms together, squeeze. Inhale, open out wide. You know, if one side feels like it's not really cooperating today, doesn't want to come all the way forward, just come to where that, maybe squeeze, where that end range of motion is. And so we want to find that place where we're making progress. Right? We're not pushing for pushing or forcing or creating any pain. But if there are those little limitations within the fascia or the connective tissue or from scar tissue, we can come right to where that end range of motion is. Right? Breathe there or find that repetitive action. Then we just slowly and create that space over time. And then one more time, squeeze them together. Inhale, open out wide, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands down to your mat. This time, lift your back knee, step back downward facing dog. Take your feet about hip width apart here and find that same strong hand placement that we had in tabletop. So your fingers are spread wide. You press down through your fingertips. And then traction your hands down and forward Send your hips up and back. Let the center of your chest soften between your shoulders. Take a couple of full breaths. You can keep knees bent or legs straight. And from here, nice slow little hand movements. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come to the back end of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips, press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, hands together at your heart. All right, we're gonna play with a little balance here and add in the arm movement. Again, just so we're getting lower body's getting a little bit of love here. So start with your feet together. And then find a focus point for your eyes that can really help with balance. Shift your weight onto your left foot and then Tree pose, right? So you can take your toes to the ground. And it's nice, like a little bit of a kickstand, especially if balance is feeling wobbly today. You can take to shin, or you can take to upper inner thigh. Right? Find the place that feels right for you today. 
And you're gonna bring your arms out wide as you inhale. And then wrap right arm underneath left. And you have a couple options, hands to shoulders right, or palms together. And where, where we're going next with this, you can do that from either place. But just take a moment to really anchor through your stability first. So press down into your left foot. And then press your right foot, your bent leg, into your left. So it feels like you're pressing foot and leg into the center line. Keep a little tone through your belly for support. And then stand tall up through the crown of your head. And so we're gonna take a little movement of that pumping action here. It doesn't have to be a huge movement. You're not gonna travel far in each direction just to get, again, get that pumping action. And if you start to wobble like I do, just come out, come back in. And so inhale, reach your fingertips up or your elbows up. And then as you exhale, draw them back down. Inhale, press fingertips up towards the ceiling. And exhale, elbows down, right? So whether hands are here, here you can just do elbows up, elbows down. Not just, there's a lot of balance and <laughs> action going on with the shoulders. And just focus on matching the movement with your breath. Good, take a couple more, slow and steady and stay anchored through your foot. And then unwind, bring both feet down, hands to heart, take a breath. Sometimes the movement and balance is good because it actually keeps us breathing. Sometimes we hold our breath trying to get the balance. <laughs> okay, wait to your right foot and then left foot in for tree pose. So again, toes down like a kickstand, shin, or upper inner thigh. Just try to avoid foot right on the knee. It then it tends to push the knee out to the side and the joint doesn't love that over time. So just make sure foot is above or below your knee joint. Okay, anchor down through your standing foot. Find your gaze point and lift up through your belly. Press foot and leg into center. Squeeze in, find the midline. Bring your arms out wide, inhale. And then left arm underneath right, exhale. Hands to shoulders, right? Or take the wrap, so you cross forearms and then either backs of hands together or palms together. And take a moment, get steady. <laughs> and then inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, draw elbows down, like you're drawing them down towards your ribs or towards the ground. My balance is good and wobbly today. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale, elbows down, pumping through the armpits. Inhale, reach up. Good, hug down. Sometimes it even helps to picture right, that lymphatic system working. Right, things being emptied and moving through the lymph nodes instead of getting stuck there. So we can keep things clear, keep things moving. I'll take one more. Come back to center, unwind, inhale, both arms up. And then exhale, hands to your heart, take a breath. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. You can bend knees if that feels better. And then walk your hands forward again, downward facing dog. Take your feet out hip width apart. Press down into your fingertips and then traction your hands down and forward. Let your chest soften in between your shoulders and melt back towards your thighs. Full breath in. And with your exhale, come all the way down, child's pose. Take your knees out wide. Press the tops of your feet down. Big toes together to touch and then settle your hips back towards your heels. Okay, we're gonna take a little more side body stretch from here. So keep your hips low. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. And you can do hands shoulder width apart. You can stack hands anywhere in between there that feels like you just start to get some stretch along your left side body. Roll your left ribs down towards your thigh. You can let your head rest to your mat. 
or to a support. We won't be here super long. And just like that standing side body stretch we did, again, after the pumping action, it can be nice to help open up, keep those vessels, those channels clear so things can then move through. When you think about the areas where the tissue is really bound up, it gets less blood flow. The lymphatic system doesn't drain as well if things are congested. And come on back to center. Inhale here. And then exhale, walk your hands over to your left. You let your right hip settle back. Roll your right ribs down towards your thigh. And then again, hands can be shoulder width apart. You can stack hands. Forms can be lifted or resting on the mat. You're going to find the right place for you and your shoulders. And our goal just being to create that space. I think about it sometimes as that area between the hip and armpit. <laughs> Open up all that tissue there. Just take a couple breaths into that side body. Come on, back to center. Inhale here, full exhale. And then walk your hands back, shift your hips off to the side, come all the way down onto your back. And once you get there, bend your knees, walk your hips in towards your heels, take your feet hip width apart, and just make sure there's some room behind you. We're gonna bring arms up overhead. There's maybe nothing in the way behind you. Okay, let the shoulders settle back. Let the back of your head settle back and stretch your arms along by your sides. And then just take a full round of breath. And with your next inhale, lift your hips up. And with your exhale, slowly lower down. Okay, so that's part one. Then we're going to add on the arms. Next, inhale, lift hips up and reach arms up and overhead. Your hands might get to where backs of your palms touch down to the ground behind you. You might stop somewhere along the way. That's fine. Exhale, lower all the way back down. So wherever that range of motion is, find the end point, come to that. Inhale, lift up. Wherever that stopping point is, your arms here, here, here. And exhale, lower down. See if you can coordinate hips and hands to land at the same time. Sometimes that's a good concentration for our body-mind connection. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Uh, take one more. Inhale, press into your heels. Lift your hips. Reach your arms up and over. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Now take your feet out wide, let your knees rest together, and then just take your arms out wide. If that's T-shape, cactus shape, whatever feels like it's spacious for the front of the chest and the arms. Close your eyes. And take a couple full breaths. See if you can really fill up the space of your lungs. Exhale completely. So just even that full breath really starts to mobilize. And we can feel that expansion and contraction across the chest. And then you can take these arm variations, right? We can sometimes just do the arms without the legs or the balance and use those at little points throughout the day if it feels like you've been sitting a lot or having to work at your desk. And you take a few minutes, incorporate just some of that pumping action movement through chest and shoulders to get the lymphatics going. And we'll take just the last couple moments of rest here. You can stay right here if it's comfortable. If you want to stretch your legs out long into regular Shavasana, you're welcome to do that. Bring your hands where they're comfortable. Close your eyes. And then here, just snuggle your shoulder blades up underneath your body. And let the heads of the shoulders drop back so there's space. Let go of any effort with breath. See if you can just let full, about 10 full breaths come here.
And then let's start to take some deeper breaths again. Feel that area in front of the chest and lungs fill up. And with your next inhale, take a full stretch. Maybe feel a little bit more space all along chest, armpits, lungs. Make your way all the way back up to sitting. You can roll to your side if that's comfortable or just press yourself up from lying down. Bring your hands together at your heart. Lift your heart to your hands. Bow your head to your heart. And take a moment and honor yourself for this, taking this time for your practice. Thank you so much for sharing it. Namaste.